Hey everyone, this is Dom popping up on the PC World channel one last time here at Mobile World Congress 2022 because I wanted to take a look at the first Nokia laptops to see what's going on there. So the first thing to say is what these aren't. These aren't laptops made by Nokia, despite the name. They're actually made by a company called Off Global, who are also new to the laptop market, uh, and they're licensing the Nokia brand name for laptops. It's a similar situation to the fact that in the mobile space at the moment, a company called HMD Global makes Nokia's phones under license. So this is a Nokia laptop, but it's not actually Nokia making it. They're just putting their logo on it. Still, they did help a little bit with the design. Uh, this is the first in the, the series of laptops that's coming out. This is the Cubit Pro. And this is actually kind of at the upper end of what Nokia are likely to be putting out. Uh, they're definitely positioning themselves in the affordable end of the laptop space. Uh, so even this, it comes in a 15 and 17 inch options and the 15 inch one starts from 699 euros. Um, so it's definitely affordable. They're, they're very keen to stay way below the thousand line in terms of pricing. This one comes with i3 up to i7, all 12th gen, but 12th gen P series. So these definitely aren't powerhouses. And in fact, looking further ahead, Nokia is saying that the other laptops it's going to be putting out are even more affordable. They're going to be running Pentium and Celeron chips, and they're going to be way down at the entry level end of the market. So don't look for sort of, you know, a big gaming beast coming from Nokia anytime soon or a really high end Ultrabook. That's just not what they're trying to do. Still, I am actually kind of impressed by the specs they've managed to squeeze into this thing, given the price that they're going for. Like I said, it goes up to i7. Uh, it's only 8 gig of RAM, but then you can get up to half a terabyte of storage. Uh, you're getting a couple USB-C ports, which are for charging, and it goes up to 65 watt charging, which is pretty fast. And you do still get a USB-A and a micro SD slot. Um, it's a bit chunky, and that's really where the compromises are, I guess. It's kind of plasticky, it's still kind of heavy. The design is, is nice, but it's basic as well. Again, this is not super premium, this is not super high end. But yeah, I think they're in a right space of the market here. They, as Nokia and Off Global themselves have pointed out, in that end of the laptop market, there's really not a lot of brand loyalty. People don't care too much who they're buying their laptop from, especially when it only costs half a grand. And Nokia could work well here, just from that brand familiarity and that appeal, and the kind of specs they're putting out, or the prices they're, they're putting out, from what we've seen so far, mean that they could rival some of the cheaper stuff that companies like HP and Asus are putting out there. Um, yeah, so at the moment, the Pubic Pros are coming out across Europe. They're coming out in sort of six or seven markets in Europe, but Off Global is saying that it is looking at the US as well. It actually has a global license, except for India, where another company makes Nokia laptops under license. So that's actually the retailer Flipkart. So these won't go on sale in India, but they will eventually go around a lot of the rest of the world, and they do have their sites set on the US too. Uh, yeah, I'm Dom. If you don't recognize me, I am normally on the Tech Advisor channel, so do jump over there and check out some of my coverage about smartphones and other stuff like that, especially with loads of that going on here at MWC. But I will pop up again on PC World from time to time, and as always, remember to like and subscribe.